Welcome to the Green Sloper V8. You're watching Jaybird TV. The first round I'll be climbing on today are those pink holds, a V2, V3 on the prow, which is the overhanging wall. Just a really juggy, fun route. Great way to get warm. When I climb the beginning routes of this video, you'll notice I climb very slowly and carefully. This one helps me to hone my technique and really allows my fingers and tendons to get fully warmed. So I'm just trying to move really slowly and controlled. These jugs feel amazing. So I'm often tempted to skip holds when I'm doing my warm up, just kind of to jump around and do really big dynamic moves. And I definitely do that in my warm up previous to climbing, but I kind of want to save energy for the harder routes and really get that flowy climbing. And I love just hanging from holds, really getting a good stretch, stretch my legs out too. And of course, get that down climb in. Comment below and let me know if you like that I include the down climbs. If you'd rather just have it go to the next route, go ahead and let me know. Also, let me know your favorite style of climbing. Is it bouldering, top roping, lead climbing? Let me know. The next route is going to be the yellow holds of V2, V3 in the corner. This one is a quite a bit more balancey, and as you can see, starts out with some mantling and pressing. This is always pretty fun really gets those hip flexors working and I feel just like you have great body tension on routes like this between your back and your core. Another thing that I really appreciate about technical climbs is that it doesn't matter your strength level always, you need to have the correct beta and you need to trust your feet often. But here just moving through those to the top. Pretty sweet, fun route. And the climb down. Get that nice stretch in there. Moving on to the next route. This one's going to be the green holds. It's a V4, V5 on the corner. Uses both of those features. And although it's crimpy, they're actually great holds. So it's a very fun floater route. As per usual, I am doing my on-site while filming, so I'm just looking over to make sure I don't miss anything crucial. So get the double undercling start here, and a pretty fun crossover. Feels pretty far. Then you can walk your feet out. I use the foot chip down there for my thumb. And you actually use the feature as a hold, and it's a pretty great hold. Amazing texture, and the angle of it actually forms a hold. So from there, just moving up these next two crimps. Trying to get those one-time foot placements. I always try and avoid foot matching, if at all possible, too. Sometimes you have to do it, it's the best beta, but I feel like I really get that flow when I don't do any foot switching. And top it out. I find that my warm-up that I do upstairs really gets my whole body warm, but my finger is my main concern for my beginning climbs. Anyways, moving on to those yellow holes that you see. This is going to be right on the overhang and definitely getting a little more powerful. So you may notice in this climb that I do climb a little more quickly and just a bit more dynamically. But although I'm tempted to just dyno up to those holds, I do the intended beta. Especially the first time I ever climb a route, I'd want to try and do it right. But being the undercling and moving up to those great jugs on the feature. Cross over and bump up. D3, 
do match and then cross over. Reach out, walk my foot to around my chest, and then jump up to these top jugs. They are pretty bombers. I'm able to kind of smoothly climb my way up. And I go for the, the hanging finish there. funny because I won't move on in the gym until I've climbed everything so people will usually ask me if I climbed anything but I'm pretty stubborn about that so I was really excited to move on to this set. Anyhow this is the dyno route, the V6, V7 pink holds. It's intended as a double clutch dyno so jumping out hitting that first hold and then landing the right hand. This is actually really precise, it's a pretty difficult move. Some people in the gym said they're able to span it and just kind of go out and hit the first hold right while keeping the left hand on the start, but I definitely wanted that dyno beta. Takes me quite a few goes though. I'm not able to really properly get my right hand in, so I end up focusing on just the right hand. That's my goal. So jumping out. Boom, able to stick it. Hit the undercling. And the reason I hit that crimp is because the setter told me that's how it was originally set. But I find that that crimp's not great, so I do bump off the one below it to go to the pinch. And looking around, I decided to get my foot in the jug. Hit the left crimp, then the right. And I actually cut the left foot going up. Such a sweet route, I really like that one. Dinos are awesome, and that one was actually really precise, which I really appreciated. We are now moving on to the green Sloper V8. This thing is definitely in my, my style of climbing, I would say, so I was really excited to try it. Get some heel hooks and some big powerful movement. So it starts low, and you actually have some pretty good holds. Bomber undercling to the next hold which you match as another undercling and go out left. This allows you to get a heel hook set. Then reaching up right, getting the left foot up, you match the sloper. Quite a bit of body tension acquired here before going out right and my feet cut. Didn't really have my heel properly set. You can actually get it almost underneath the hole instead of just healing on the side. And that really locks you in and allows you to then get a left heel up. Of course, I have not yet realized this, but I can definitely tell something's amiss. So here we go, go number two. Getting that bomber first hold and getting the heel set. Love that move, going up right and matching it. Just feels really awesome. Going out right and I'm able to get the left heel up this time. And I switch my right heel to a toe before going left to the feature. Matching that right one. And you did really have to cut feet here. Swinging back in. Decided to go up left and match. And I wasn't quite sure what to do here. So I actually go for a high foot and wrap my left on the other green hole below. It was a bit of an awkward position to go out to the next hold from there, but I just really intuitively wanted to get high feet. So here we go, getting a feel for the route, get this beginning locked down. It's really in how you place your heel. And feel pretty comfortable going up to the feature this time. I once again go left to match it up and try the high feet once again. Once again felt pretty difficult going out left and I really did dab on the yellow so I'm kind of glad that that go didn't go. Just had to brush that off just to keep it feeling fresh and take a second to just think my beta over. I have something I want to try in isolation, and that is first of all going right, saving myself a move, and keeping my foot down low. 
this allows me to go up to the next move, and that beta felt pretty great, so now I'm equipped for victory. Heading back over. Doing this bottom section, left hand out, heel set. Right hand up and left foot up for body tension. Match it. Out right, get the left heel on. Switch to a toe. Left hand up, like that. Right hand up, tough feet. And I'm gonna go with the bait I just tried. So get the right hand up, just move out left. And look how much smoother that is. Able to go up, boom. Sorry, use boom. Uh, get the right hand up. And I thought it was going to be done, but the left hand is not the best. So it took me a second to get my courage. I moved my left foot in and go out to the finish. Thankfully, it's a pretty good hold. And I'm able to match it up. Get that send. All right. Awesome. Many more climbs to come, so stay tuned. But thanks for watching. Much love, fam. Peace.